Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. So this is a project demonstration video. In this project video, we are going to demonstrate a project which we have created and that the topic of the project is uh, PSO uh, or PID control for two link robotic manipulator and we are uh, we will optimize the parameter of the PID controller using particle swarm optimization algorithm okay so we uh, apart from that we also we provide online training help in technical assignments we do industrial and academic projects based on embedded system python data science machine learning etc so if you have any such requirement you can contact us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org so let's start with the project So the project title is this. We in this war in this project we have implemented this IEEE uh, paper. Okay, so it is IEEE conference paper, and it is the statistical analysis of GA based PID controller for robotic manipulator. So instead of this GA, we have used particle swarm optimization algorithm, and the robotic manipulator in this paper the authors have used. We have used the same robotic manipulator. So it is a two link robotic manipulator and we also have used the same and this is the block diagram of the proposed system with PID control and we have created the, uh, the similar block diagram here so let me open it okay so here it is yeah so this is the block diagram which we created uh, for this paper in order to implement so PID controller have been implemented here and the two link robotic uh, dynamic equations of the two link robotic manipulator have been incorporated into this so we can't go beyond that because it is a project demonstration video uh, so if you file uh, if you need these files you can mail us at info at the read jcbrolabs.org okay so now in this paper the authors have done the statistical analysis so statistical analysis means they run the optimization for nearly hundred of times and then uh, they uh, accumulated uh, the gain uh, obtained value of kp ki kd uh, right and then put this kind of the graphs like probability distribution how effectively your optimization algorithm finding the same values of kp ki kds right so we have created this so we have already created uh, the results okay so let go through the uh, the project okay so all these are the files which we have created and so we just need this 100 iterations okay right and then uh, yes okay this is the file which we created for all uh, to uh, create all the graphs so let's just run it and you will get all the probability distribution curves of all the values of kp1 ki1 and kd1 okay so we have already run this file so that we don't uh, because it takes around one day to get the complete results okay so this is about uh, the these graphs apart from that we also have created the optimization algorithm uh, which will be using this pso based optimization algorithm and it will be uh, running uh, the model again and again to get a uh, final uh, desired value so that our output is satisfactory so we will show you uh, running uh, we will run this once and we'll show you the final result so that you can verify the results which are being obtained and all the files are working satisfactory so just let me run this file okay so if everything finds it keeps it starts running oops now it will take a lot of time because 
I kept the model open so you know it is compiling and running so just remember if you keep your model open during the optimization it takes a lot of time okay so sorry for that now but still it is managed to okay we will stop it right so let's wait for stop because otherwise it is going to take a lot of time of this video so we will have we have pressed this stopped command so it takes some time to get stopped okay okay now it has stopped let me close it now i will run the file again here yeah. and yes it is start it has started so you see now uh, the graph uh, the optimized curve convergence graph of the optimization algorithm is displayed and right now the best function value is 0.122 and it has been updated to the first iteration and let's wait it be, uh, we have run this optimization algorithm just for the 10 iteration in order to demonstrate the working of this video okay so it will take a very short time to reach up to 10 okay so let's wait uh, in the meantime i can tell you like uh, uh yeah if you uh, we also uh, we uh, from time to time we keep on providing uh, the online workshops as well in which we teach uh, about how the optimization works and how other system works so you can subscribe to our channel in order to remain updated about about the new things which is going uh, vi uh, which we are going to organize okay five iterations have been completed six seven Yeah, optimization is completed and minimum value of the uh, IT cost function is this so we have used in this model as IT cost function IT as an objective function okay okay so let's see the output so we have written a program in such a way that uh, when the optimization ends it runs the model again uh, for the final uh, final optimized values okay so this was the curve desired trajectory and this blue curve is the uh, obtained response and as you can see it is closely following it so let's see to the second link okay okay after getting some disturbance at the starting it is also following the desired trajectory right so if you look at uh, the shape uh, of both the uh, trajectory looks similar but there is a difference if you look at carefully the amplitude is different right here for second link it is 0 0.5 the first link it is 1.6 okay so uh, as you can see uh, the response is much better right and the link is following the desired trajectory as close as possible okay so that uh, shows like uh, the effect uh, that shows the effectiveness of our current of this projector so if you further file uh, if you want to access these files you can contact us through our website or you can also write a mail to us uh, to uh, uh, you can write a mail to us at info at the red gcbr left store rg so i think that's uh, it for the demonstration of this project video 
we will be waiting for your response you can also comment below uh, you can also comment below this video uh, if you have any doubt or any suggestions okay so that's it for this video thank you